Hey folks, I've just finished recapping this uh, Sony C800G power supply for Sony condenser microphone and um, I had to do a little modification simply because these dual cap in a single can in this value is not available anywhere in this world anymore. I've uh, looked everywhere and I actually came across a video on YouTube where there's this guy that serviced his Sony C800 and the power supply and he replaced the tubes in the power supply and I could take a sneak peek inside and uh, he, in this video he says that his uh, unit is four years old it's around about let's say five years was manufactured five years ago, sold five years ago and in that newer Sony c 800 g power supply they have done what I have done here there's just single capacitors mounted on a PC board on the bracket uh, replacing these uh, dual capacitor cans that used to sit there uh, also a fun component that I replaced was this uh, well, these two one farad 5.5 volt um, super capacitors or yeah, capacitors so that's that's been fun um, the high tension power supply just being a really straightforward affair except for these uh, six AU6 pentodes that's used as diodes um, and then the Peltier device that uses the one farad uh, supercapacitors on the output. And um, then the heater supply. And I truly I hope I've got this right. Um, there's very little info on the Sony C800G. Uh, you know, service data. The, these schematics I found a couple of years ago when I first started working on this uh, friend of mine's Sony C800G, G, maintaining it. And the, the initial work I did back in 2019, just last year, was replacing um, some of the electrolytic capacitors in the microphone itself. Um, this time around, <coughs> It's the, the power supplies turn and new uh, Nip Nippon Chemicon uh, 220 microfarad caps on the high voltage section and then EPCOS uh, 10,000 microfarad 35 volt caps in the low voltage sections. And I've just mounted on a glass, a fiberglass PC board and the wires uh, soldered onto protruding pins from this side. Thanks for watching.